Okay, today is uh, Thursday, June the 13th. Um, welcome to Jenkins and GSOC office hours. Um, so per the usual, we're just gonna go through some uh, project, all the project updates actually, and um, contributors, if you can just let us know how you're doing, do you have everything you need, um, any concerns? So with that, then I'll start with Noor. Yeah, um, can I share more updates? Um, we just finished the uh, data collection process. Uh, uh, Bruno and Chris have some concerns about being automated. So it's now, yeah, automated and pre-processed. Um, and now the data set uh, is converted to match the, the tuning template of Llama 2. Uh, so we just have the data uh, ready now for the fine tuning tuning stage. Uh, currently, I'm working on uh, the fine tuning procedure. Um, yeah, optimizing the parameters and storing the model, and also interacting with the model using LangChain. So um, that's what I'm currently working on for those uh, for this week, uh, and maybe the next month. Uh, and also we created a campaign board on GitHub to manage our progress and to keep mentor updated. And just, I uh, shared the, the link with you just to, if anyone wanted to check it out. So it has the current progress and I'm updating it uh, to, to, to show what, uh, what is the current progress for this project. Okay, thanks Noor. Um, Chris, anything you like to add here? Um, no, I think the progress is good and uh, we're on track. So, but um, I think it's like um, I think we maybe a little bit over communication is better for the project because like sometimes we're not aware of what what the status is. That's all. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thanks. So Shlomo isn't around. Um, Chris, did you want to say anything for in behalf on behalf of Shlomo then? Yeah, sure. Uh, we had a meeting. Um, so with Shlomo, Mark, uh, Harvey, uh, me, Bruno, um, Matt together on Tuesday Eastern time and at noon, mm. and then we got some feedback from both Mark and Harvey, and also like the repo. Um, the Shlomo's personal repo is being migrated to Jenkins in Brown by Harvey right now. Oh, cool. Yeah, that, that's the update. Okay, thanks. Um, I did also talk with Mark and he said great things about the progress. Um, so congrats. Thank you. Um, Don Yang? Yes, and uh, uh, in this week, I'm working on the feature changing lines uh, and uh, by connecting the, the webhook with the this, Jacksons and uh, um, from now on it work it works and the next week I will use the young file and to try to add a, add a team to the repo so it just uh, fetch the uh, the file file content and uh, and and use the API to add. Uh, I think so as the team member on the repo and uh, maybe about the challenge, but I don't think so. So I need to know the detail of the, about the workflow, about how to add in a new team member into a team and add this team into the repo. But I will try to, uh, first I will sort those by myself and, uh, and ask some question on the, you know, Gitter channel uh, is our uh, RPU um, communication channel, yeah. Cool, thanks. Um, and I don't think Alex is here. Uh, Bruno, is there anything that you'd like to add? Um, no, I think everything is going uh, strong these days. Uh, I think 
Danyang has found her right pace to progress. She makes quite a lot of tests and I see things progressing. Uh, that's pretty cool. Sometimes we have a small blocker because Alex has still some issues with his internet and uh, power because of floods. Uh, but uh, he can enter asynchronously and then Danyang can progress. So yeah, I would say everything is going well for the time being. Thank you, Danyang. Great. Um, Philip. Yeah, I'm back. Um, I'm progressing currently on my GRPL. Uh, the conversation from Groovy to um, Java is already done. I added also uh, the Gigano tests, uh, like Alex has re requested to me. Uh, Tim gave me already some feedback about that, but i still waiting from Alex some feedback. And I have currently only the challenging between odd, the two other PS because um, if I write now other journal tests, I need the helper libraries that I've written by myself for the tests. But uh, currently when I copy that code from PR1 to 2 and 3, it's like a code copying from uh, backwards and forwards. That's currently my challenge. And the other thing is I created uh, last from last time, uh, we heard us uh, a little board for me uh, to see my progress, and uh, I post it here in the docs. Okay, thank you. Um, Bruno, are you the co mentor for this one as well? I forget, I'm sorry. I'm afraid I am. Okay. <laughs> so, Any yes, uh, uh, no, the thing is, we also need Alex from time to time, but uh, I had a look to the PRs created by Philip, but uh, up to now, I think he's pretty happy with what he can see. Tim had some request about um, some of the tests uh, exploiting what is the logs to be removed. But apart from that, I think um, Philip is also progressing pretty, pretty well. So all is good. I didn't see any blocker point. So um, yeah. Uh, finally, with me, let's hope uh, Alex will get back on track next week. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, thank you both. Uh, Sridhar. Hello, everyone. So Hi. In the past, yeah, everyone can hear me? Yes, we can. Yes. Yeah. So in the past week, I've just tried to extract the metadata in a custom uh, parser approach, which might not end up being an optimal solution. And then and some other commenters have suggested to reconstruct the whole parser with open red parser, so which is quite an efficient one as compared to the custom parser and allows to use of so allows us to use the markers and uh, yeah, it will just it allows us to use the metadata in a, in a better way. And also we'll raise the PR on this metadata extraction with uh, with open red uh, open red parser later tonight. And I will just start working on the core module in the coming week. That's all from my side. I think I'm just a little bit uh, in the lag uh, because of this past week work, past week work. So I'll just try to catch up with in in this week. Okay. Yeah, that's it from my side. Thanks. Um, Valentine, anything you want to add? Uh, yes, so two points. So for the moment, it's a bit difficult to know if we are on track or not. But I want also to say uh, similar uh, is that. It's very important that we over communicate to um, yeah to to get feedback uh, really really quick on uh, on the code and pull request and those kind of things. So yeah, yeah that's pretty much on my side. Okay, thank you. Um, does anybody have questions for anybody on this call? No, so then I'll ask a question. How is <laughs> how is our GSOC uh, comfort level? How how are you feeling thus far? And I I'll go back <laughs> and I'll start with Noor. How's your comfort level at this point? Um, I don't know. Um. You can be honest. You don't need. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to think, but I think I just, um, you know, I just finished my final exam, so uh, 
yeah, theoretically, this week was the first week I I just have a good a good commitment, uh, for the project. So, uh, but so far I I feel um I'm doing okay. Um, there are no blockers on and. Whenever I feel I need some help in something, I just go to the mentors and they help me out. So that's great. Okay, good. Okay, um, okay, Shlomo is not here. Dan Yang, how's your comfort level? Uh -huh. uh, honestly, uh, for me, uh, zero to 10 uh, is eight and uh, uh, <laughs> Yes, and the part is um, maybe um, many count on me. So uh, I have so many uh, things to learn and uh, I need to um, maybe the, maybe every hour I need to learn the part is the tricky one, but uh, the, maybe they communicate in Kate with my mentor, my co-mentor, and and Chris and everyone, and it's it's the maybe the comfortable part, and I can pop up the question, and they will be answered quickly, and and you will taught me the how to do next, and I'm really thankful about it. Okay, so it's it's a journey, like John Mark has always mentioned. We mm -hmm. mentioned it's it's a journey, definitely. Um, it's a it's it's a mountainous climb, so exactly hang, hang in there. Don't um, you forget your gloves, or you'll lose <laughs> your fingers. <laughs> yeah, and I think you're doing the right thing by reaching out and asking questions and doing your own research. Um, you know that that will help. Does any other mentors have anything to add? Yeah, if you for for this kind of knowledge, which is quite uh, um, unique to Jenkins, how mm -hmm. the APU works, how the, it's same for the stats, I invite you to open an help desk issue because it could be a great central place where everyone from the community can add their opinions, their help can guide you on some point of some data you're not sure. Like you ask in the chat, in fast chat, you've done really, really well to ask about uh, how to name certain teams. I don't remember the details, but having it in an LDESC issue is, I think, a good place because you can have link and reference to GitHub. A lot of maintainers are reading LDESC, and it's a good way, it's a better way to have uh, information asynchronously, asynchronously uh, that's, yeah. So people can have good info when they want, when they have time extra. Thanks, Hervé. Thanks for it's joining for us. For every, every project, I think. It would, uh, yeah. You, if you want, don't hesitate to open an desk issue and explain what are your questions, what you don't understand. Uh, if you want some advice on some parts, you'll get you get help and feedback That's an excellent advice. idea yeah yeah okay uh philip how's your comfort level at this point very happy small blockers on no bloggers from my side and the communication is very great from all sides good to hear Cool, cool. Sridhar. Yeah, so from my side, right on there are no blockers, except uh, the last week I had this quite lag on working a, a no different approach. I think I should have to improve my my asynchronous communication with this mentor. I uh, just relay on this whole weekly meetings in, in past two weeks. Yeah, I'll just try to increase my asynchronous communications with the mentor. Also, my project involves a communication between open rewrite team. So I just need to communicate with them, with, with them too. So to know more about uh, open rate and just try to implement those recipes in our origin can tell me about yeah that's it from my side okay does any mentors want to add anything any other feedback 
No, not on my yeah. side. No, I would just repeat myself. Uh, commit regularly. You shouldn't be ashamed of your code. Um, it'll get reviewed when it's ready, but it's better to commit and push something which is uh, not finished. Um, but uh, instead of, for example, working on something for a whole week before discovering the mentors don't like the way you did that because there was some kind of miscommunication or something. So yeah, commit and push regularly. Ask for some early review if that's possible. If we can't because of time, at least you asked for it and then we'll do it asynchronously. So yeah, please, uh, regular updates that will help the project. Thanks, Bruno. Um, anything else? I don't have anything else on the agenda. OK. All right. Well, enjoy your evening. Good night. And uh, we'll speak again next week. Thanks, everybody. Thanks, Lisa. Thanks all. Bye. Thank Bye. you. Bye. 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 Bye.